Everybody, welcome back to another edition of this splendid Breaking Even podcast. Um, we're talking to our friend Tanner over here from across the world right now. We're going to get into what he's been up to um, the past couple of weeks and also what we've been up to the past couple of days during this wedge fall. So, fellas, what's cracking? How are we feeling? I'm feeling good. Uh, what time is it there? What, what time is it where you are? <laughs> Two at home. Two forty p.m. What What time is it in tomorrow? Um, in tomorrow it's, it's. I don't know what time is it. <laughs> My computer's like the time zone hasn't updated. No, it's seven thirty. It's not too bad. It automatically. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah, down here, down here in the land, down under, having a good time. That's awesome. You've been there yeah. for two, what is it, two weeks now? Uh yeah, just a little, a little over maybe. That's yeah, cool. yeah, two weeks, two weeks. Yesterday, it's been fun. Like waves have been fun every day. We haven't really like scored, but it's mm -hmm. been like it's been super fun every day. We just haven't had like really good. <laughs> Good day. Hopefully that's to come. But uh it's been fun. It's been great. And um just doing some cool stuff. Like we had the next gen contest in Newcastle, which like the local bodyboard club there put on and science sponsored. Mm -hmm. And it was super cool. Like um, I don't know if they really broadcasted the format for it, but it's like super cool. What what we did was there were four coaches. So it's an under 18 division or under eight, under 18 comp mm -hmm. with prize money. It was like sick prize money. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Like the, the kid who won got like a thousand dollars. Like this was what? sick. Yeah. A thousand dollars cash just bangs. Damn. And you know, second, third and fourth got like $250 gift cards and like that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So super cool. Um, but what we did was there were four coaches and each heat, you get coached depending on your rash guard color. So like every heat I was coaching, whoever was in yellow, Mike was mm. coaching whoever was in red or, and so on and so forth. And it was super cool. Like just like getting to kind of like break down heat strategies and like kind of go over like a little game plan with the kids. Yeah. Every heat. It was super cool. That's it was a cool, yeah. like super cool, super cool concept. And I think that that'll be something that we start to see more of. That seems sick. Cause you also get to like kind of know the kids. <laughs> yeah it was cool it was cool like you know it was kind of funny at first like trying to like hunt the kids down and like <laughs> hey like you know i'm here to like i'm here to help like if you have any questions like let's let's do this like let's get a game plan going and some kids are like yeah like what do you think i should do like you know where should i paddle out what kind of wave should i look for like what am i what am i doing and some kids are like okay yeah cool like you know this is my plan what do you think? Or they're just like, or they would, they would just run off before you could even get to them. <laughs> there was one kid I was like, I'm supposed to be coaching you. He's like jumping off the rocks like 10 minutes early. I'm like, what's going on? Just not listening at all to what you have to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it was funny. Um, the whole day I was telling all the kids to paddle out in the corner, like, oh yeah, paddle out by the rocks and you'll just get out of the back. The rip will pull you out. Yeah. Cause I have surfed this wave before and that's kind of what I did in the past. And then I had to free surf like a, we did a heat in between the semis and the final. And I did that and I couldn't get out. <laughs> so I had just been sending, I had just been sending all these kids like into like the worst zone. <laughs> oh, I thought you were just screwing them. Yeah. So sorry. How, sorry, how, yellow team. How big was it? it, it, it like, it wasn't very big, like the start of the day, but the swell just like slowly built throughout the day. Mm. And it, we're like where we were watching from the whole day, like you're kind of above it. So you couldn't really see how big it was. But when I paddled out, I was like, holy shit, like it's pretty solid. Like there's some like closeout sets across the beach and stuff. Like, you know, there's there's 18 year old kid. There's 18 year olds in the event, but there's also like nine year olds in the event. Yeah. Like there's this one kid who like, paddled out like in trunks like just like couldn't like he got a couple waves and got like halfway out the back but it was pretty big and he was just like 
going for it, like put his head down and just like was basically paddling out the whole heat. It was sick. That's crazy. Yeah. That, that whole sick. event looked cool though. Like all the kids looked like they were frothing and yeah. Um, that format definitely sounds interesting. Like, yeah, super cool. Like it's, it was cool. It was cool. Get to cut, getting to kind of like engage with the kids and like, you kind of force them to also it was funny that's sick uh boxy is also on my mind yeah yeah I was on my mind. With, uh, stand up with kane <laughs> yeah kane kane brewer kane. he's doing good he's uh took the week off from work and yeah we went and chased some waves and surfed boxy pretty much every day it was fun <laughs> it wasn't like wasn't fully pumping but it was just like so much fun and it's just good to like reconnect with him up there because i you know spent a lot of time with him and stayed with him a bunch over the years so just getting to catch up and hang was good yeah that's sick i i only yeah. see all those couple photos that um his girlfriend taylor posted so yeah I, thought I saw something else though maybe from the science australia page um like of like a of box. the waves or yeah yeah there'll be a couple of photos on there but we're saving saving the good stuff yeah good what's shit. been going on with you guys T anything anything new or exciting that's happened in the last week that may have taken years to achieve <laughs> well I got well actually I wish I could say I have a piece of paper but it hasn't arrived in the mail yet so <laughs> I don't give it to you on the spot. <laughs> No, no. They give you a a paper holder. That oh my has, gosh! Yeah, it's, it's basically <laughs> fake. And then you have to wait like a couple months for that to just show up in the mail. You have no idea when it's going to. It just, just randomly shows up. I oh, hope cool. I just. I hope I get it. There's no like it shows up on a random mail. Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, it just it just shows up in the mail. Yeah, I graduated, Sorry. so we're done with that. Now I'm home. And you're uh, home already. Yeah. Yeah. I was in DC for like the week after I graduated. Um, and then I just got back uh two nights ago. I oh it was a mission, but yeah, like, I told for- Craig the moment the moment I got on my plane from Virginia coming home, I my goal was to get s- straight to wedge as soon as possible. And there's just all these delays and my flight got delayed an hour and then uh, it took a while to get us off the plane. It was like a huge plane with four or three aisles. And, uh, and then I had, we had to, we hadn't eaten anything all day. So we had to eat and then, uh, and then there was like a major, major hold up on five coming home at like, two, like 1230. So I was just, I didn't get home till one in the morning and i was like frick i gotta get the wedge somehow (laughs) but yeah it was really fun Uh, uh, and wedge seemed really fun uh that day i was traveling you surfed it craig yeah i surfed that morning and not the afternoon i just surfed it the morning but there was i don't know i think the day you were there was better though the day before was just had like some bigger waves um yesterday was just freaking like the best like in my opinion i was saying earlier to tristan like that's like as good as it gets tanner <laughs> really like, i mean shape in terms wise, of shape yeah in terms of shape oh my god like, and it was fairly consistent and just ramps just sick. ramps like all you could all you could ask for in a way that wedge is just a, a nice clean perfect ramp and like well, i can't yeah. wait to see them can't wait to see the clips yeah. yeah yeah and it was so consistent too i swear there was like a 25 wave set <laughs> <laughs> it just it just like didn't stop i got like six waves in like one cycle and i was like what the hell is going on here no oh, i love it a lot so of it was really fun good welcome welcome home yeah it was nice i was like just so worked from all the traveling and like you know, last the last like month of my life has just been so hectic, just cramming, just beating the crap out of you. Yeah, just everything, just whatever. Trying to 
get on my final projects, work in, graduate, do graduation. You know, my family came and then drove 12 out, moved, had to move my house out, and move, drive 12 hours. And then that next morning, drive to San Diego, take a flight to Virginia, you know, visit with family there and then <laughs> straight to, yeah, straight to Wedge. At least the end goal yeah. was Wedge and you succeeded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just come on, get it to Wedge. Tristan said he served till like 1130. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bodies yeah, are shaking their fists at you. Well, me and Tim were out there. Oh, yeah. Like, I was surfing. I was, sur- I was yeah, booging for like at least an hour in the black ball. And then I, I told him, I was like, all right, I'm going to go. I'll put my board in and I'll catch a few waves with you. And he was like giving me pointers. Sick. Yeah, Dude. it was fun. Was anyone filming? Wasn't Dingo there filming that session? He came for like thirty, like he came for like thirty minutes, like like towards the end, like a black ball, and then left. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 it was really fun. I'm really happy. I yeah, I'm so stoked. I had that session. That's like all I've been daydreaming about. Yeah, for two years. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll get those clips soon and we can get them out to the public. Not the good yeah. one. <laughs> What's uh, all good. So you guys had your little Shark Island pre-party. How did that go? Yeah, I wouldn't call it little either. They're, dude, they're they're doing it. That's sick. It was sick. There was some some heavy hitters there. You know, some Australian and just bodyboarding like royalty hanging around having a couple of cold beverages and uh yeah it was cool i mean they're they're they put a lot into the event it's yeah. cool um the, the production quality is really really good they had like a sick sick trailer for the event that they played before they like drew all the heats and stuff and um yeah it's gonna be it's you know if the waves show up it's gonna be good yeah they've got like a, a pretty big <clears throat> webcast budget i think so the webcast will be sick they have like the body border owns like the house in front of the island so they're like using the top story of that house as like a judging area that's great and there's going to be like all the boats in the channel and like it'll be sick is <laughs> what is the forecast looking like i haven't looked in a couple of days so like or i'm it- having a hard time oh. forecasting in australia like I, I'm just kind of going with the flow. What these guys, where these guys tell me to surf, but um, small for the next few days. Like definitely nothing, nothing for the island. Um, mm-hmm. there is like a pretty, and this is far out. Like you can't really forecast Australia, the East Coast, like more than like three days out. It seems like, mm-hmm. and even then, that's like just pretty sketchy. But what I can see, there's a big swell coming on like around the fourth that could move around a few days um i don't know if it's the right direction for the island i don't really know what the deal is also the direction could change significantly i don't know could swing more east it could do whatever but um there's apparently there's a low pressure coming that time which is good um we'll see the waves look fun next few days um small small for the next two days i think but when they say small it's still like you can still go get three foot wedges out of beach break somewhere yeah that's not too bad either so like other than that big swell on the fourth that i can see it's like fun size and maybe more if you know where to look cool yeah um yeah but uh we you like guys that. seen the heat draw? I saw your heat draw. <laughs> There's, they're all bangers. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude, it looked pretty. I mean, I knew the yeah. event was stacked just like from the beginning, but the draw just really puts it into perspective. Yeah, should be, should be good. I think. Um, let me see if I can find. Okay, so here's my heat. I've got it's me. I'm heat three. Louis Finnegan, Sam Thomas, Josh Gardner, and Michael Osler. 
Mm -hmm. So it should be a banger. They've really Um, done a good job, like inviting all these people because it seems like every heat is just like a banger. Yeah. And they, you know, there's a lot of people that they had to, that they either decided to leave out or they'd opted out that I know would have made it even crazier. Like, you know, like Ben Player, uh, Kingy, Kingy didn't get an invite, which has been a bit of a good talking point, I think, for people. Um, There's uh, so many other people. Um, But that kind of goes to show, like, it's so stacked and there's a lot of people that would still add to that. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And I think that, you know, this is the first year this event's running under these guys. Like, they're kind of people from the that have run past events are for sure for sure helping out but it's mm-hmm. kind of under new not under new management but new guidance maybe and um i think it's just gonna get better like next year will be sick mm-hmm. so like it'll just keep, just keep getting better this is like the, the comp hasn't run in like six years as like a full like international event they have local club comps out there all the time though yeah so like contests happen at the island and they get like pumping waves all the time yeah it's pretty sick mm. i've um, seen those yeah like they're just like yeah local local comp like man just head out to the island it's six foot and slapping <laughs> groms you're out there yeah um uh, did yeah did i see that anthony miller got an invite he did that's correct for yeah. him he's oh, a little ripper too you know he's 16 or 17 yeah and he'll he's he'll go for it. Huge that, that video of him on that right slab just getting yeah. backwashed. Yeah, <laughs> like, it looked so, so funny to be up that yeah. high. <laughs> oh, what a little legend! Yeah, yeah, he's a legend. He he won that um, contest in Newcastle, the next yeah. gen. He's yeah. ripping. That's sick. I heard he was ripping. I heard he was ripping in the pool too. Weren't you guys thinking about going to the pool? We might. Okay. <laughs> we might. We might. Okay. I don't know when this is coming out, but there might be some stuff soon. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, I just we'll see heard... if they accept our proposal. Before you left, there was maybe some some chatter. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. I think we'll get in there. Sick. Sick. Mike, Mike knows some people. Where's the pool? There's one in Sydney now. Oh dang! And apparently, it is longer and punchier than the one in Melbourne, Melbourne. Good. So we'll see. Yeah, you'll have to compare it to Waco. I I still think Waco is the best one as far as a ramp, but this one just looks like you can just get barrel for ten seconds, yeah. like a pretty like slabby little thing. Yeah, that one looks heavier. Yeah. For sure, like, yeah. the like wake- it looks like a it looks like a more fun wave to just like ride. Waco is like a sick performance ramp, but yeah. you're kind of just like screaming because you're <laughs> flying at this big section. <laughs> yeah, Are, already concussed from the. Yeah, the- this one looks a little less less impact, less concussy. <laughs> yeah, I think you can get a little bit. A little bit concussy. Yeah. Concussy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you also let us know about that too, because we yeah. we all send you some behind the scenes. We all damn know how we behind can. the scenes. What's the yeah. what's the finger on the pulse? Like is boogie boarding alive and well over there? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Like it's still, you know, still kicking. You know, it's, it's buzzing. It's the the Shark Island comps definitely like breathing some life into things. I think like yeah. people are like people are buzzing about it. Like there's a lot of there's a lot going on. Groms are ripping. There's like a solid crew of Groms around the East Coast. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and like last night it was sick. You could see all the generations of bodyboarders because they invited all the old guys from like the 2001 comp and the people who used to run that event and like the OG guys from Cronulla, like Wingnut and uh, those, that kind of generation were there and even the guys before them. And then, you know, the Andrew Lester, 
generation, Toby okay. Player, and then you know the guys who are a little older than older than us, and then you know like Sam Strachan and those that kind of crew, and then you know myself and like Liam Lucas and Steph Cocorellis from mm-hmm. Portugal, and then Anthony Miller, who's like sixteen, is in the comp. So <laughs> nice. So That's there, cool. There was like there was like the whole like lineage of you know bodyboarding last night it was pretty cool and then yeah that was sick just seems like a, a little area where just boogan is on fire <laughs> yeah just and raw fest i'm jealous yeah it's like you know it's like how it is back home how there's like little pockets of it you know yeah. like if you go down a creek or you go to wedge like you're like oh shit like boogie boarding like cool <laughs> It's kind of like that here, but there's just more places like that. There's just more waves, so there's I more feel like, areas for I feel like they, groups to fester. Like Aussies, like have a yearning for, you know, boogie pride to be what it once was. Just a little like disheartened by, you know, maybe whatever happened in the early two thousands and and the, just the state of the tour now. It's hard for them to compete. Yeah, it, man, it's it would be really hard for an Australian to do the tour because like the Aussie dollar is pretty pretty weak at the moment, so their money doesn't go very far. And um, man, it's far to get everywhere. Like <laughs> it's hectic. Like getting to South America from Australia is like such a mission. Like that's a big big expense. And then going to Europe from Australia is gnarly. Pretty much getting anywhere is hectic. It's yeah. kind of the same with the South Africans. That's that's wild that there's like this those two places that are just like yeah. insanely hard to get anywhere from. They're just so remote. It's kind of why the waves are so good. Yeah. Just like down in the down in the gnarly ocean down here. Is it is it cold? Because it's pretty damn cold no. here. Dude, it's so warm. I was so happy. It's it so the air temperature's cooled. Like it's cooled off quite a bit. The first few days I was here, it was like pretty nice. Well, it rained and it was cold then, but then it cleared up and it was like we were in shorts and t-shirts walking around. Like I could have been surfing in a spring suit up up like near Newey and stuff. Like it's cooled off a bit since then, but um it's it's beautiful. It is cold outside, but the water temp's like so nice. It's like mm. I don't know. You could definitely be surfing in a spring. Maybe not in the mornings when it's offshore and cold, but it's nice. It just doesn't seem to want to get warm here. It better. It's got two and a half weeks to warm up. <laughs> it's not as cold as that little span that we had like a month ago, but like still rather wear a five foot with a hood at wedge. Yeah. I was in a 5-4 at Wedge. Shit, dude. And like, oh, it's so annoying. Every, everyone in the water is like, they paddle out. It's, and like, oh, it's so cold. <laughs> so yeah. I heard that shit. phrase like eight times. Yeah. Well, it, so, it is, so I guess I should say it is cold here, but it's not the water. It's just the wind. Yeah. It's kind of the opposite. It's like... You know, back home, it's usually the water temp that, at least lately, that's been getting you. Like, it's not too bad outside. But here, it's like the wind. The wind chill gets you. The water's nice. If there's no wind, you're you're happy. I kind of, I'd kind of rather have it like that. Warm water is, like, just a, a nice, yeah. nice thing to have. Yeah. It's, it's great. What's that take? So you guys are just cruising for the next two weeks, just having a ball and yeah. wedding. Yeah, we're just kind of cruising, gonna try to chase waves just wherever we can. And um if they call the comp on, then I'll be in it. Sick. And Where? I will I will um extend my trip a little bit if it's like they're gonna my ticket's booked to leave on the sixth. Mm. Um 
I will maybe change it to stay a few days if it's like, okay, we're going to run on the eighth, like yeah. it's on, then I'll, mm -hmm. you know, I'll stay. And I, I wanted to be pretty transparent with the people running the comp, like, you know, this is my plan. I'm coming to Australia. Before, I was planning on planning this trip before I got invited to the comp. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't want the comp to like affect my plans that I already had and kind of my plans for the year. Um, so of course I'm super stoked to be in the event. I'm, I would love to, I'm pretty honored to be invited and I'm really hoping I get to compete in it, but I'm not going to stay until July. Which is yeah. Yeah, that, that'd be crazy. But I mean, it does make sense if it's like a couple days, like yeah, I mean, like three days, and yeah, you cannot. Like, but th I was I was pretty clear with them when I when they sent me the invite. I was like, you know, this is my plan. Like, this mm -hmm. is what I'm going to do. If that's okay, for sure, I'll accept the invite. But you know, just just so you know, this is what is this is what could happen. Like. 50 50 i'll be in the event yeah it's just way dependent at this point yeah yeah and it'll be like that for other people too like yeah it's just it's hard it's a month month long and maybe even a bit more waiting period so it's pretty mm. hectic wow that's a long long time yeah it's cool it they is. got that permit yeah well yeah it's it's a little different around here like it's not well, I don't know. I, Do you think it's like a like a wedge body surfing situation, but it's Shark Island and the Shark Island body borders? Um, no, I don't think so. I think it's like the permitting isn't such an issue. All right, because well, they have contests like everywhere. If you can get like, it's more about just getting infrastructure places. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't. I don't know. Totally. Maybe I'm just making it seem easier than it is yapping yeah talking <laughs> blown smoke oh sick well is there anything else that we can touch on real quick or are we just freaking uh, yapping it anything cool you guys have seen anything that like been pretty checked out like social media wise um have i seen anything any crazy clips anything going down there were some, I mean, like the kind of the younger crew was ripping at Wedge last couple of days. Sick. Um, saw <sighs> Tomas De Luca like smashed his face on the sand. I think. Oh, like, gnarly! Got backwashed and like so high, I think, and just like hit his face. Pile drive. He came out. Uh, the next. I think it was that afternoon actually with a with his hood on and a like a band-aid on his face like cover it up yeah. and just to like that's what you do like just to try to cover yeah, it yeah. up and first wave right right off gone yeah so hectic um yeah I don't know it was just so backwashy like the first afternoon I surfed it that it was yeah it was hard to get one to the wedge action yeah it was like it was more early season than the first early season swell we had which is weird wow i mean uh, uh, i'm not kind of not surprised yeah i don't know but other than that I haven't searched or really looked at anywhere else just there that's you need yeah yeah all right, fellas. Well, good catching up. Everyone listening, thanks for tuning in to another edition. Give us a like, comment, subscribe, buy a shirt. Just keep watching our stuff. There's They're linked all over the place, whether it's on Instagram, in this video, <laughs> on Spotify. <laughs> Point everywhere you can. Uh, look at any, anything that you can. And <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time. Cheers. Uh,